Hello, everyone. Welcome to session two of Machine Learning Zoom Camp. In this session, we will talk about a project for, we will do a project, hands-on project, and we will implement the car price prediction model. So remember in the introduction, we talk about a scenario where we wanted to help a user, uh, a user of uh, online classified websites for selling cars to come up with the best price. So a user wants to sell a, a car, and they need help with uh, coming up with uh, a price. So they, they need to enter some price. And if they don't know how much um, to put here. So we, we wanted to develop a model for that to help the user come up with the best, best price. And this is what we will actually do in this session. We will develop a model for doing that. So for that, we will use a data set with um, car prices from Kaggle. So it lives here on this link. So if, uh, so let me go to the browser. So this is this website. So it's on Kaggle. And uh, yeah, so basically the, the data we have in this uh, data set is um, different features, different characteristics of cars, like model, make, year, uh, engine, and other properties and also the price. And uh, we can already see what kind of data is there. So there's make, the manufacturer of the model. Um, so we can see uh, all the kind of data we have, gear, engine type, uh, fuel type, etc. And we don't see here, but there is one category, uh, one, uh, one column that is interesting for us is, uh, the price so i think it doesn't show everything so we can yeah, see this msrp this is exactly the price of a car so this is what we want to predict um, and msrp i think stands for um, so msrp stands for msrp stands for manufacturer suggested retail price so this is basically the uh, price of a car right um, so we have this data set and uh, we want to use it to actually uh, to get all this information, all these features about the car and we want to use them to make the prediction about the price of a car. Um, so the plan for the project is uh, first we will get the data and uh, do exploratory data analysis. Uh, we will just look at the data and try to uh, learn more about this. After doing that, and after uh, preparing the data set, we will uh, train a linear regression on this uh, data set to predict the price of a car. Then we will try to go a bit into the details of how uh, linear regression e is implemented. So we will actually implement it ourselves. And then we will evaluate the quality of our model using RMSC. RMSC stands for root mean squared error. And this is a special metric that we can use for evaluating the quality of, um, of models. And then we will do a bit of feature engineering. And feature engineering is the process of creating new features, new characteristics that we can use uh, um, for our model. And then finally, we will uh, have some problems with our model. And we will see how we can solve these problems. Uh, these are this will be numerical stability problems, and we will see how to solve them with regularization. We'll talk about this concept of regularization a bit. And finally, yes, we will use the model. Okay, so all the code for this uh, for this lesson is available in uh, GitHub repo from uh, for the book, and uh, it's uh, actually here. So that's uh, chapter two, uh, car price. So all the code is there. And of course, uh, we'll, we'll do live coding and I, of course, will make all uh, the notebook available for you. So let's look at the code. So there is, uh, so the first of all, it's in uh, this ML book camp code, which is the repo for the book. And then there is chapter two, car price. And there are two files. So first file is uh, the, the notebook with, with all the code. So you can uh, take a look and basically it has everything that we will uh, do today. And then the second file is uh, the CC file, the, the actual data set. So it's 
can see. Yeah. So this is a CC file uh, that we will use for training our model. Okay, and what we will do next is actually not exploratory data analysis. We will look at the data and we will do a bit of data preparation. So this is what we will do next. We will um, take the CISPR file and we will try to, to prepare it.